Hey beautiful souls, welcome to Twin Flame Reading Channel. It's really hurtful when someone tries to ruin your reputation by spreading lies and making up accusations. The third party, driven by their own bitterness and desire for revenge, seems determined to destroy your image. They are playing a cruel game, manipulating situations to hurt you however they can. When kids are involved, it's even worse, it's awful to think that someone would use innocent children to get back at you. The idea of going to court and hearing words like payback just shows how mean-spirited and vengeful they are. It's like they are enjoying causing pain, especially if it means getting revenge. This person seems totally consumed by spite and anger, willing to do anything to hurt you. Their actions not only target you but also strike at the very core of your being, as if they want to bring down the Divine Feminine in you. It's like they take pleasure in seeing others suffer. Dealing with this kind of malicious behavior can be tough, but it's important to stay strong. Even though it's tempting to get angry or feel hopeless, holding onto your integrity is key. Remember that the truth will come out, and those who lie and manipulate will face the consequences. Seeking support from loved ones and trusted friends can help you get through this difficult time. Surrounding yourself with positivity and understanding can give you the strength to face the lies and accusations. Stay true to yourself and don't let the negativity define you. It's really heartbreaking to see how the karmic is doing everything possible to destroy all the hard work and efforts your person has put into building their life. The situation has become so intense and dangerous that it wouldn't be surprising if one of them ended up in jail, it's just that crazy and scary. It seems like the karmic is driven by some kind of obsession or grudge, determined to tear down everything your person holds dear. Their actions feel completely out of control, like a disaster waiting to happen, it's terrifying to think about what they might do next. It's almost like they have some sort of intuition about you and your connection to your person. They seem to know exactly how your person feels about you, and they are using that knowledge to manipulate the situation to their advantage. Their behavior is fueled by fear and jealousy, emotions that have clouded their judgment and pushed them to act irrationally. They are afraid of losing control over your person, so they are desperately trying to hold on, even if it means resorting to extreme measures. But despite their efforts, it's clear that their grip on your person is slipping. Your person is starting to see through their lies and manipulation, which only seems to make the karmic more desperate. They are lashing out in a last-ditch effort to regain control, but it's only making things worse for them. In the midst of all this chaos, it's important to stay strong and stick together. Surround yourselves with supportive people who understand what you're going through. Trust your instincts and hold onto the truth, knowing that justice will prevail in the end. And don't let the karmic's fear and jealousy dim the light of your connection with your person. Feeling like you're being left out of a deep spiritual connection because of someone else's interference can be really tough. It's like watching from the sidelines while the person you care about deals with their own issues. But maybe your person was trying to shield you from their mess, wanting to protect you from getting tangled up in their problems. You might find comfort in knowing that your person is on a journey of self-discovery and growth. It seems like they are starting to see things more clearly and are striving to become their best self. And it's possible that your presence and influence are playing a role in this transformation, 
encouraging them to rise to their higher self. It's like they are receiving messages and guidance from somewhere beyond, whether it's through downloads of insight or vivid visions of what steps to take next. It's as if they are being guided by a higher power, helping them navigate through the complexities of their situation. In times like these, when you feel powerless to directly intervene, sending love and positive energy to your person can make a difference. Praying for them, if that's something that resonates with you, can be a way to channel your intentions for their well-being. It's like offering them support and encouragement from afar, trusting that your love will reach them and uplift their spirit. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Even if you're physically apart, your connection with your person transcends distance and time. Hold on to hope and faith that things will unfold in the best possible way for both of you. And continue to nurture your own growth and well-being, knowing that you're contributing to the greater good of your connection. Let's talk about your money and finances. It feels like something bigger is guiding you to break free from the financial problems holding you back. It's like a gentle push from the universe, urging you to make changes after the recent losses you've faced. You might not be seeing as much money as you'd like because taxes take a big chunk out of your earnings. It's frustrating when you work hard but end up with less because of taxes. It feels like you're constantly struggling to keep up financially. The same goes for your business profits. It's disheartening when you put in a lot of effort but don't see much return. It's like there's always something eating away at your profits, leaving you feeling like you're falling behind. But despite these challenges, there's hope. The guidance you're getting reminds you that change is possible. It's like the universe is offering you a chance to improve your financial situation. Maybe it's time to rethink how you manage your money and find ways to minimize losses and increase profits. There might be opportunities waiting for you to seize. It's like the universe is giving you a chance to break free from financial struggles and find abundance. Trust in this guidance and stay open to new possibilities. Even though it might seem tough, remember you're not alone. There's help available to navigate through these challenges. So take a breath and know that change is coming. Embrace the guidance and take steps to improve your finances. You have the power to create the abundance you want. Let's really dive into your financial records like your bank statements or cash apps. You need to figure out what's going wrong and causing these losses. It's time to be super clear and honest about where your money is going and what you're doing with it. The main aim is to find ways to increase your money, not lose it. We want to build up your finances, not tear them down. That means we've got to spot any habits that might be hurting your wallet. So, take a good look at your spending habits. Are you buying things you don't really need? Are you spending more money than you're making? Do you notice any patterns in your spending that could be causing trouble? Being real with yourself about your finances is key. Sometimes we don't realize how much we're spending until we see it written down. But facing the truth is the first step to fixing the problem. 
If you spot any bad spending habits, it's time to kick them to the curb. Whether it's splurging on impulse buys, spending too much on non-essentials, or forgetting to save, these habits can drain your bank account fast. Instead, focus on ways to make your money work for you. This might mean cutting back on unnecessary spending, finding ways to bring in more income, or setting aside money for savings. By making smart changes to how you handle your money, you can start building a stronger financial future. And remember, it's okay to ask for help if you need it. Whether you reach out to a financial advisor or join a money management group, there are people who can support you on your journey to financial health.